I just got back from running a few errands. I had a few more things to get for my huts right here. One of them being this mesh that I found at the dollar store. Um, I was looking for that. I actually bought one at Target for $5 that I'm going to return because this one was a dollar and it was perfect. Um, Mama B and I went to Target and Michael's and I also found these awesome stacked books for 50% off at Michael's. Like all their Halloween stuff is 50 to 60% off right now. And so I got a really great deal on these. I think these were like $7, which they were um, way over that before, like around $15, $16. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys like a quick little overview, but I'm definitely going to be filming my Halloween decor. <laughs> I love him so much. I found him at home, guys. And I love that vampire mug so much. So yeah, and then I found this garland at Michael's too for 50% off. Um, actually, I think this sign I also got at Michael's, but not this last trip. I, and I put that string around it to make it a little more decorative. I put a spell on you. I have two signs that say that because I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus and that song. And then I do just have some fall mugs still up. Um, I also put some twine around these canisters and this canister over here and that one down there. I still need to put the decal on it, the spooky decal. And then I did finish my three-tiered um, three tiered tray. Three-tiered tray. Why can't I talk? Do you see Lucy over there? She's hot because she was like sitting outside for a while um, on her own accord. And anyways, I told you I have another one that says I put a spell on you. And this is like a quick overview. I just posted this picture on Instagram. So I figured might as well show you. This is the other side. This bottle, you guys, when True Blood, the show was out, they had these bottles. Um, it was like a fizzy orange drink that they had to purchase. And it was like... Um, a case of four and I kept two of them and you could choose like if you wanted O positive, O negative, A positive, whatever. So yeah. Okay. Almost forgot to finish what I was telling you. Michael's actually gave me this cute little fabric pumpkin for free today. I guess if you spend $20 at Michael's then you get this for free and I've honestly never have gotten anything free from them. So I thought that was really cute. Mom, have you got one too? Okay. As you can see, I went to Bath and Body Works. I was completely out of hand soaps and completely out of scent um, the plugins. So I did get five of those. I already put them away and I got all leaves because that's what makes our house smell the best. And um, yeah, I just love that scent for our home. Um, the candles were $10 off as well as I had a 20% off coupon. So I did take advantage of getting some more fall candles because they already have the winter candles out. And that usually means that they're not going to restock the, the, excuse me, the fall candles are going to start disappearing from the store. So I decided to get this one that says blessed. I thought it was beautiful packaging, but it's actually pecan, pumpkin pecan waffles. This is one of Chris's favorites from the fall scents. And then another leaves, um, cause can't go wrong with that. And then the foaming hand soaps were five for something. So I got white coconut caramel, which smells so good that I got two. Sorry, my laundry just stopped. And the lids have like a marbleized appearance to them. They're so pretty. And then I got pumpkin apple, pumpkin cupcake, and sunlight and apple trees, which just smells like a very fresh apple scent. I did get two more little plugins for the house. One is for Christmas. This one sold out online already. So when I saw it in the store, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it since I have a coupon. And this is one that lights up too, which I love those for the house. Um, so like when you go downstairs, you're, you're not completely blinded in the dark. So I got that one and I got this one for all year round. Now, technically this one is a part of their Christmas collection. And I love that it looks like a little galvanized barn house looking, um, piece, but this would be something that I would have up all year long. So I got those two as well. And that's it. I really like the bags though. Look how cute and Halloween they are. I was wanting to find a Halloween plug-in but sadly they did not have one. Like I said, they're already getting all christmas out. So I made sure to grab all the farm, the farm scents, oh boy. That would be an interesting soap, farm scent. Yeah, I don't think we want that one. <laughs> I meant fall scents. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday, which is my Monday. And I just wanted to show you my makeup of the day really quick. 
Um, my lashes are still holding up really well, <laughs> except I got foundation right here on one of them. I need to fix that. Um, I probably won't need to get a fill till maybe next Monday. And then I definitely think I'm going to be using these lashes on the wedding day. So that was the whole point of getting them. Um, and I just love that they look super natural. Unless someone knows, like has seen my eyelashes previous, they, no one thinks anything of them. They think that they're my natural lashes and that's what I wanted. I just wanted, my, na my lashes are naturally very long. However, they don't stay curled upward. They go straight out. And so that was my issue with getting the fullness like this. Um, from my natural lashes. And yes, I could have wore fake lashes on my wedding. However, I know I'm gonna cry and I didn't want the um, opportunity of a lash like floating, like flying out there while I'm kissing my new husband, you know, at the ceremony. I just didn't wanna risk it. By the way, I know I keep doing this like glowy skin, accenting the clavicles, all that. And a couple of you have asked me to go over that so i'm gonna try and get up a little earlier tomorrow so that i can um film that as i'm getting ready just to kind of like show you guys my voice is weird because it's the, pretty much the first time i'm talking <laughs> all morning i want to go over my lip combo real quick i have the mark jacobs lipstick these are amazing they last all day on their own and they're more of like a matte finish and this is the color georgie girl number 214 they have a magnetic closure they're just luxury absolutely beautiful. Mine has like a little number engraved in it because I used to work at Sephora and if we brought in a lipstick, we had to get it engraved with our number so they knew we weren't like taking anything. I know it's crazy, but it's true. Then I also have Buxom White Russian on the top of it because I was not feeling a matte lip today. I've been feeling glossy. Um, and then on my eyes, I predominantly have the Super Watt Shadow Electric Cool Eyeshadow and Super Watt from MAC. As you can see, I use it quite often. I'm gonna close my eyes so you guys can see that. Um, on my cheeks, I'm wearing Coralista and Dandelion blush. It blush from Benefit. I have, if you like are curious what's on my cheeks for the past month or more, I've pretty much been wearing that every single day. When I get obsessed with a blush, I just use it and use it and use it and use it. So that's what's going on right now. Um, also, if you ever see like little, it seems like there's like white in my hair right here. It's not. It's foundation brunette girl problems. Okay, I gotta go fix my hair and get going to work because we have like a special event today at work. There's like a new a new Botox on the market that we're promoting and having like event for today. So yeah. All right, so I fixed my hair, just like curled some of the pieces. I have my Kendra Scott earrings on, by the way. I absolutely love these earrings. I definitely want more pieces from Kendra Scott because she has such great quality jewelry. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. We have to wear this shirt today. Um, and I'm wearing these like legging jeans and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's like very accenting. I still got some mega thighs <laughs> even after losing weight. I, I mean, I'm not at my goal weight by any means, but my thighs are what like kill me. And I'm wearing boots with them since they're like skinny jeans, but... I'm going to go with it today and see how I feel about it, <laughs> but you guys, I'm sure will lay into me with some opinions possibly, but it is what it is. Got some thick, girls got some thick thighs and booty. Um, these pants actually make my booty look really tiny though. Um, these are from Fashion Nova, by the way. I can link them for you. Okay. Got to go to work. Good morning, it's Wednesday, and I'm wearing this dress from JLo. It's from the Kohl's collection. I have a bruise on my leg, don't mind that. I did put some Loving Tan on my legs to give them a little more of a tan because they're pretty white. I'm gonna be wearing these, they don't look pink. They look like a peachy pink in, in the camera, but they are more of a pink suede -ish flat from Old Navy. And I could wear a heel, but I want to be comfortable all day, so I'm not going to. Um, I also have my little pearl barrette in, or like bobby pin. I look like I have. I found the vlog, babe. Um, so Chris and I are carpooling today. He's <laughs> pumping my gas for me, but I figured I'd take the opportunity to vlog. And this is the only place where there's 
<laughs> it's making me Um, This is the only place where there's decent lighting. This dress I have on today, I haven't actually worn it ever, I don't think. It's from Torrid. I worn it once, maybe on date night. This necklace is from Chris. This was our first Valentine's Day. He got that for me and wear my grandma's ring. And these earrings are from Stella and Dot. My makeup looks extra smoky today and I don't know why, to be honest, because I rushed, maybe. That's it. Good morning, you guys. It's so hot out already. It is, well, it's only 80 degrees, but it feels really hot in my car. I am on a Ray Dunn high, and I'm sorry for anyone that doesn't care about Ray Dunn, but I have to tell you guys, I found a red canister in the wild today. What? Sorry, hold on, I gotta move forward because this person's gonna be mad that I'm blocking their way because I'm just sitting here. Are they really gonna pull forward too? Okay. So yeah, you guys, I found a red canister in the wild. And anyone that collects Ray Dunn, yes, I'm a collector now. It is what it is. Initially, I thought I would just get, and I do only get the pieces that I love. I don't get everything that I see. Um, but yeah, I don't have any Christmas stuff yet. And I found a red canister today. I actually got Santa's cookies, but Mama Bee ordered Santa's cookies off Mercari for me. Um, and she ordered reindeer snacks. She found really great deals on Mercari. She was just looking one day and she got a smoking deal on them. I don't usually like to buy them other than finding them myself or trading with someone, but they're Christmas presents for me, which I'm really excited. So since she already found Santa's cookies, um, I traded with one of the girls that found Jingle Bells in red and I'll insert a picture. So I bought that. And then I also found the Oh Good Gravy, Gravy Boat and Tis, is it Tis the Season? I think it's Tis the Season. One of my awesome Ray Dunn friends that is at the Shea, Shea Home Goods. Um, I see her there all the time and she found two and only needed one and she gave me one, which I was very, very thankful for. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really successful Ray Dunn morning. And let me tell you, um, oh, sorry. Let me tell you that it hasn't been like that for weeks. Like, first of all, I haven't really been Ray Dunn hunting because I got pretty discouraged because um, not these women that I saw today, but a couple other places, locations I went to, the women were like really negative, aggressive, mean, and I'm not all about that for some pottery folks. Like I love the Ray Dunn stuff, don't get me wrong. I'm excited and want to find it in the wild, but I also don't want to have to push people or like run or be mean to one another. That's not what this is about, you know? Um, so yeah, positive vibes this morning, positive people and a successful morning. So now I'm off to work. Making some grilled cheese and red pepper tomato soup because I've been craving it. And if you saw my Instagram, I posted about the Disneyland one. This is definitely nowhere near as good, but it'll do. Okay, this is gonna be horrible lighting, so just Try and deal with it, guys. That might be a little better. Me and babe. Hey. <laughs> just went and saw the Joker. I don't know what the f just happened, guys. It was crazy. Literally crazy. I feel crazy after watching that movie. Anybody else? Really good acting. Like, I definitely think Joaquin Phoenix is gonna get some nominations, 100%. But it's one of those movies where, like, you feel unsettled and a little, like, ooh. They just don't feel good. I told Chris we need to go home and watch Friends to actually laugh. Like we've heard hysterical laughing, crazy ass laughing for the last two hours. Raven? <laughs> you, you, that's not funny. Everyone's gonna think you're <laughs> psycho now, babe. Did you see this? Did you see what I was doing? All I have to say is the joke is completely relatable. Oh my God. Uh, now I can't even put this on the vlog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What the fuck? You're not even going the right direction. I know. Oh. I want ice cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you are going the right direction. <laughs> but seriously, it doesn't really have a, a huge plot. And it took a little while to build. It took a long while. Yeah, it did take a little while to build there. But it was real. I think it was still good. If you're a big Batman fan, Yes. Nah, -uh, babe. They killed. The if story. you can separate your movies and separate your comics and want and be able to watch it without judging little details, then you'll like it. 
It's too early to be giving away any spoilers. I, I didn't. I'm talking about I I don't like the way they portrayed certain characters. Oh, 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 oh okay. Yeah. I'm still, and we were just talking about this, I'm still like a little sad that they didn't do a Joker and Harlequin movie together with um, Jared Leto and what's her name that's really pretty? What's her name? Rob? Something with an R. Mar Marley? Margot Robbie. Um, that's it. But she's gonna have her own movie. Jared, Jared Leto's the worst Joker ever. They need Just to bring jealous. Jack Nicholson back. <laughs> oh my gosh, no one's gonna agree with that about that. It's the best Joker ever. We're at Men's Warehouse, picking out some suits for the boys. Woo! Wild dog Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and my dad. So I think my dad's gonna wear this one vest and tie and black suit. Brian's gonna do something different. I'm not showing you that yet. Aww, By the way, this is what the groomsmen are wearing. This is the vest and tie.